This person, I believe, is the most racist person Canada has ever produced. Here's the video. Trudeau, someone's gonna make you catch a bullet one day. To the rest of this government, someone's gonna do you in. You might wanna change your uh, your name to Ishmael, or drop a bunch of change down the stairs and call yourself Chong Ching Ching Chang. <laughs> now you wanna say, oh, the Indians culture and everything. The natives culture is a disgrace. It is 100%. Every person who was born here in Canada, in North America, you are indigenous. People don't realize that. <laughs> if you were born of the land, you are indigenous of the land. It's called depopulation of the Caucasian race or the Anglo-Saxon. And that's what the goal is, is to depopulate the Anglo-Saxon race because they are the ones with the strongest bloodlines. They are the ones with the strongest bloodlines. That's right, Al. I've seen the mosque up in Fort Mac. Ladies and gentlemen, we are being overrun. The Anglo-Saxon people of Canada are our God-given culture. The Anglo-Saxon and the Francophones. We are losing our culture to other ethnic religions. This is not racism. This is genocide of a culture. Yeah. Okay, let me give you some background to this guy. Put up his picture. He's actually a leader for what's called the Freedom Convoy. His name is Pat King. He's a Canadian trucker. He organized events, bigoted of course, we knew this. But he has organized various events. He's anti everything, obviously, including wearing a mask, vaccine, etc. Longtime conspiracy theorist. This hateful rhetoric exposes the extreme element of the core of the Freedom Convoy protest. A thread of videos of King espousing the great replacement theory, depopulation of the Caucasian race, via encouraging Arab, Muslim, and LGBTQIA plus infiltration, somehow involving the UN as well. The United Nations got thrown into this, as well as climate change denial and claims that Justin Trudeau is a pedophile. So it goes on and on, it actually gets deeper than that. The convoy arrived in Ottawa, okay? And the Washington Post has reported on this. Police in Ottawa are warning that any protesters blocking streets for the self-described freedom convoy may be arrested without a warrant. These protests are against vaccine mandates, coronavirus restrictions, um, blocked the third border crossing with the United States early Thursday. Uh, so they are active to say the least. The protests, which have led to at least 23 arrests and 80 criminal investigations in the Capitol um, are now sparking a vigorous debate among officials on how to best deescalate the situation there uh, and at US Can- uh, Canada border crossings where blockades have disrupted the flow of goods and people. Some are warning that mass arrest could prove counterproductive or even lead to violence. Um, you know, really interesting here, right? So last time I checked, uh, Canada was a whole nother country, okay? I guarantee you, if we were talking about Mexicans doing exactly what this white bigot is doing, They wouldn't give a damn about arresting people and it being counterproductive because of violence. They would have such a harsh narrative against them. But remember, these are Canadians, okay? The number one violators of overstay visas in the United States of America are Canadians. That is an immigration law. They're the number one violators of that immigration law. You may have not heard of that because it's not promoted. You know, that's not really problematic there, Canadians. Um, there's more. Law enforcement officials are under pressure to use tougher measures to disperse demonstrations, including those that continue to clog traffic uh, between the United States and Canada. So far, two major ports of entry uh, the Ambassador Bridge connecting Detroit to Windsor, Ontario, uh, and the crossing linking Montana to Alberta have been closed or partially blocked. Um, you know, there's a lot of rhetoric. There's a lot of, we just, we want to figure out the best way to, you know, Without violence and the least amount of resistance, wait a minute. That narrative never is applied to anybody but white people in America. Mm -hmm. 
Francesca, thoughts? I mean, exactly. My thoughts are on January 6th when um, officers, Capitol officers say, look, we didn't open fire because we were afraid of what was gonna happen to us because all these dudes were armed and dangerous. And it's so funny and interesting and constantly makes me reminds me of the Black Panthers and their conclusion, which was unless black Americans and you know, in, in terms of political organization are armed, we will never get respect. Well, it turns out instead you just do COINTELPRO and you infiltrate and you mm. systemically murder, you know, Fred Hampton and his bed and leaders, et cetera, et cetera. There's other ways to get around that. But interesting how whether it's Canada or the United States, law enforcement suddenly when it's white people is like, oh no. No, yeah. we it might be counterproductive. But meanwhile, two years ago, any demonstrator in the street around BLM completely brutalized, pepper sprayed. They were just holding a sign doing nothing. Yep. I just wanna say, whether it's Trudeau or Biden, I think we need to address this white genocide BS head on. Talk about it. As as comedian W. Kamal Bell always used to say when Trump got elected, go get your boy. Go get your boy. These are your people. Talk to them, tell them that it's all in their head. It's not white genocide, explain to them. Let's stop running from this, like like white supremacy is a, 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 a small sort of fringe. It's gaining traction, right? And I know, look, let's remember with this truck convoy, last thing I'll say, they are a minuscule fraction of the many truckers who are not in agreement with this protest. Right. Obviously not in agreement with this dude. But still, I feel like the antidote to Trump and Trumpism and all this racism, we haven't seen yet. We've never seen our white leaders really address this head on. And I'm waiting, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Yeah, well, don't hold your breath. 